Hi there, it's Mike Bukowski uh, from Space and Miniature. Uh, you recall a couple of years ago I did a series of videos on building a series of Gemini scale models of some things uh, from the Gemini program that never were built, like the manned orbiting lab and Big G and a few other ones. So I finished that and wrote it up in one of my books. And so now I'm uh, at a point where I'm trying to figure out what my next project's gonna be. So I was inventorying my kits which I keep in boxes in the garage out here in the Arizona heat, which by the way, doesn't seem to affect them at all. And uh, I found this set, uh, let's see, there we go. Uh, that's just a picture off the screen there. And I realized, oh, I got all these Baron kits. So why don't we, uh, why don't we do something with that? Actually, this isn't even all of them, but uh, there's different scales and different versions. And so uh, I decided uh, let's let's play with those for a while. That should be a fun project. So what I've started with is um, the two smallest ones first. These STC start kits. I'm sure maybe some of you have seen these. They run around. Uh, they're in one two hundred eighty eight scale. They're from Russia. They actually have a series of kits that are uh, of the Proton launch vehicle and a few others. So I've started on those. And uh, I'm already kind of well into it, and I'll try to do some more videos here every few days, and I'm going to be posting them online. And uh, you can find links from my uh, spaceandminiature.com website or my uh, Facebook page. So what the, the first problem was trying to figure out how to paint these, because these kits are very simple. In fact, stand by. A few years ago, I built a version they have of the uh, Energia M with uh, the uh, Max space plane. Uh, version, which is kind of cool. You know, it's got this little little space shuttle thingy on it, uh, and, and a partial version of the, uh, uh, the, the the booster. But if you look real carefully, you see the side modules on the boosters here are very plain. There's really not much to them, and they really cry out for detailing. And one of the problems is, you look at pictures online, and every picture looks different. You know, here's a shot of Baran with the with the with the Energia uh, booster. And, and looking at these, here's sort of a little off gray on those pods. And now you look at the Polyus version. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And look how much darker they are. Look how much darker the pods are. But they got all these little markings and stuff on it. So I experimented with different shades of gray. And um, for example, I came up with a version with different shades of gray. And, and it was partly successful. Here's... Um, Here's one uh, with some lighter shades. And then I made, I noticed on some of the photos, it seemed like two of the boosters on the Polyus version had a little darker shade, so I went with that. And the booster, the core even has a goofy pattern around the, uh, underneath the boosters. So I got that. So that's been a lot of masking and cleaning up has been done to date. But to get those, those pods actually are um, parachutes and landing gear. They were going to reuse those strap-on boosters. They only flew the thing twice, of course, and they never really uh, exercised the uh, return capability. But the, those pods were there. So what I did is I made my own decals. And uh, right now I'm in the process of applying those decals. And you can kind of see here, here's the first attempt with some of the decals on the bottom. And... Um, yeah, they're a little dark, they're a little high, but it's better than not having anything on there. So this is kind of where we are, and um, we'll be reporting on this as we go. Let's see, it's not that hard to print your own decals. I found one of the kits had even decals of the Orbiter with some tile patterns, so I, I rescaled those down to 1288. And again, here's some of the other markings that'll go on the rest of the pods. The um, Polyus. A uh, booster is sitting here someplace, perhaps, maybe, uh, or maybe it's in the box. Maybe it's in this big box of parts. Here we go. And I have made some custom decals for this as well. Uh, I just used some silver stripe decals that I had in my stash and a little um, mirror two on the side. Uh, there's some more markings that were supposed to go here. I had a problem, they curled up on me, so I have to try them again. But anyway, uh, we'll be reporting on this over the next few weeks as we go. We're going to work on these small ones next. There's actually, um, this kit here is the um, 
uh, from Master Model. Again, it's from the 80s. And it's the same small scale. And we're going to probably do that one next to see how it compares to the start models. And then we'll uh, attack. Uh, I got a resin kit in 1 1 44th scale of the Energia booster with a Baron Orbiter. And then we've got the recent 1 1 44th scale from ARC of just the Baron Orbiter itself. And we're going to build all those over the next uh, month or three. And we'll see how that comes out. And I hope you can join me in this little online adventure. Thanks so much.